negative 2y minus 28 equals 4. I'd like to get y by itself. You have lots of strategies involved, what you'd like to do. And as long as you do to one side as you do to the other, you will eventually get to the answer. Sometimes it's going to take me four or five or six steps to do a problem, where a same student can do the problem in two or three steps. They just chose to go a different route. It's like going around your block. You can go to your house next door just by going to the left one side or to just around the block one, round one, or you can go the other way around the block and make three right turns to get to the same house. So one left equals three rights. They both get to the same destination, just one took you a little bit longer to get there. And that's fine. Same thing that happens in math. As long as I obey the rules, I'll eventually get there. So I'm going to add 28 to both sides first. So negative 2y equals a 32. Now I want to divide both sides in such a way that eliminates any very or any constants in front of that y. So let's divide both sides by a negative 2. So then y equals negative 16. And there's my solution. The reason why I said you can go a different direction and still get there would be if I did this. Let's say, for example, I want to add a positive 2y to both sides. Because it was really important for me to have a positive y. Now I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides. And now I'm going to divide both sides by a positive 2. I got to the same solution, just got there a different direction, but I obeyed all the traffic rules in getting there.